Hey Jeff, uh, this is Scott here from Edge Math. I uh, want to look at a second type of question that we can solve using thin diagrams. It'd be common in uh, discrete math or some stats classes for probability. Uh, so suppose we've got 1,500 students in, in a class, and if a thousand of them are enrolled in calculus, and 750 are enrolled in creative writing, and 300 or neither, then how many are enrolled in both? So again, we can use a, we can use a Venn diagram to represent this. So we've got, got an entire, entire universe of 1,500 students. That's what we call the total, the total group we call the universe. So we've got u equals fifteen hundred. It's total. We're told there are and neither there are three hundred. And then let's say m for calculus. We've got one thousand. Creative Friday, uh, 750, and then 300 and neither. So that means we've got 300 and neither, but there is a total of uh, there's a total of 1500. So that means 1200, or in at least one. So this, let's change the color here. Uh, change the size. Uh, so in this entire area, we've got yeah, sorry, it's uh, went a little slow. Um, so we've got 1,200 in, in both. About a thousand of those are in math and 750 are in writing so that's like 1750 total so so there's like 1750 but some of those will be registered in both so we need to figure out how many are in both um, so we've got so we can do it like this we can take we know there's a thousand total in math plus 750 in creative writing. Uh, the total registrations, but there's 1,200 students total, so that gives 1,750 minus 1,200. So is that 550 are in both? So that's we've got 550 here. So that means 450. I'm doing the math right, R N math only, and 750 minus 550 R N C W only. So that's 750 minus 550 plus 200. So let's check to make sure that adds up right. So we've got 200. Let's see, 200 and Got 200 and that are creative writing only. 550 that are in both. 450 that are in math only, and none of those overlap. So 450 plus 550, that's a thousand in math. That's right. Then 200 plus 550, 750 creative writing, and then that gives a total of 450 plus 550. 1,000 plus 200, 1,200, 1,200 and at least one, and 300 and neither. So 1,200 are um, and at least one, and then neither is 300. So that's a total of 1,500. So we did that. We did that right. We can double check. Um, so that means 550 are in both. Um, so great. Let me know if that makes sense or if there's any questions. I'll I'll prepare another one that's a bit more uh, complicated and
another thing is uh, in problems like this, you're going to be given like, every piece of information except for one. Like either we'll be given everything but how many are enrolled in both, or everything but how many enrolled in neither, or there'll be we'll have all the information but one piece, and then we can use the rest to piece it together like a detective. So um, let me know if everything is clear with that. Um, if you have any questions or comments, or, um, and I'll.